we're just fighting for our basic rights at the end of the day. Yeah. Like, they are basic rights not to be frightened of getting murdered and raped on your way home. <laughs> like, surely, in a first world country, that should be a priority. I think it was the fact that it was just so brutal, you know, like we're supposed to be, we're supposed to look at officers and think, you know, there's my protection. I just felt like, I was, I just felt so angry. And it's just like so angry for not just like my generation and the previous generations that have gone through shit, but like, if I don't do something, then like, I'm going to be a shit person for like, not caring enough for the generations to follow. And Obviously I was really upset that like a woman had been murdered and raped even though she did everything right that you could possibly do. She wore bright clothing, she was she was texting her husband I think when she was going. She was at Clapham Junction which is one of the busiest stations there is and that still happened. It doesn't matter what I do at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if I do all the correct things, if my friends do all the correct things, if I text them saying get home safe and they text me when they're like get home safe because it can still fucking happen anyway. I get harassed pretty much every day that I go out. Like, and I can be dressing super extravagant, crazy, and you know, or I can be literally bummy as fuck and I'd still feel equally as scared in either outfit. I don't want to have to think about that before I leave the house. And we're talking tonight about being scared and that we're not scared anymore. I'm fucking terrified. My best friend at home lives at the top of my road. I'm scared to walk home from the top of my street to the bottom of it. I guess actually after the march, it made me realise that I had actually pretended not to be scared a lot of the time. Like, not because of what happened to Sarah, but just because I was like, fuck. I actually pretend a lot of the time that, like, I'm not being followed or, like, that that person wasn't looking at me weirdly just to, like, create my own, like, vision of comfort that I can survive in. Is that person following me? Is that person taking a picture of me? Is that person recording me? And, like, how easily accessible that is to do to someone, to stalk someone. If we all know a woman who has been sexually assaulted, sexually harassed or raped. But our male friends don't seem to know any rapists. What? Yes. And why is that? That's the kind of society we live in. We don't live in one which gives a fuck about the more vulnerable people, which unfortunately are women. Put your hands up here if you're in the 97%. We deserve better. We are better. We could be better. And